is about uh, breast cancer and just in general good breast health. As I've been talking about um, recently, I did have a breast cancer scare, but thank you to the creator that I do not have it, but I do have breast issues that I'm working on. And the products that you see in front of you are my four steps that I use to for good breast health. And not because I am 45 and counting, but this is for every woman that is walking around with breasts, without breasts because of this terrible disease, they can still practice this. Breast cancer is such a rampant um, disease that affects so many women. I know that a lot of you, you know, whether you're young or old, you know someone who is diagnosed with it or who have passed away because of this terrible illness. And these are the things that I want to share with you. So a woman who is going through the issue that I went through, but thank God my results were, um, I had good prognosis, that you can use these to prevent breast cancer, as well as heal in the healing process if you do have this sort of cancer. So stay tuned. This section is brought to you by Tropic Eye Living, the natural and the traditional way to a healthy, beautiful you. As I told you guys before, Tropical Living is not only about health and beauty aid products, but we also believe in sharing and giving the information that we know that will sustain life and will let you live a very positive and spiritual as well as uplifting life. So stay tuned. So, step one. When I called my herbalist, Meta Queen, in um, New Jersey, and I told her what was happening to me, she said to me, Loy, I'm going to send you a book that you, know, you can decide whether or not you want to do that invasive mammogram, or do you want to go another route um, of um, healing yourself? So this was the book that she um, gave me. And this book has really saved my, my life, I would say, as well as let me think about my body in a different way, in a more spiritual way, and really love myself. Because you know what? Even though I loved myself, I even loved everything about me even more. I suggest every woman should read this book before they, whether or not they have breast cancer or whatever the case may be, or they have a lump in their breast, read this book because you will know what works for you. I decided to go another route. What I did first, Meadow Queen gave me some stuff that I needed to take and this first step in this was I needed to take two bags of nettle tea, okay, each twice per day I would make this uh, nettle tea. Nettle is also good for your breast. Now, that tea is green as uh, the green grass out there, even greener, kind of look like bile and um, it doesn't taste that hot. But what I did, I paired it with lemon. And you know, lemon helps to alkaline the body. And then she had me on this for three months straight. And then she said to me, Laura, you can also do green tea. And I love green tea, high antioxidants, we know that. So I also did green tea as well. That was step one. I did this first thing in the morning. This tea is just absolutely amazing. Um, both of them are. You can read up more on nettle tea and green tea, but there's also some of the teas that are recommended in this book. I didn't do that mammogram. I really don't um, believe in doing mammograms because when I did my research, I found out, I, even though they said it's a low dose of radiation, if you have a su suspect of breast cancer, why would you want to radiate your breasts? Uh, radiation is not good for you. So for those of you who'd like to turn to bre breast thermography, that is what I did. It's widely known in Europe and they use it a lot instead of mammograms as well as in some sp uh, places in Canada. I did that in New York City. I'm not sure if it's offered here. It probably is offered here in Atlanta where I live. Um, you can do breast thermography. All they do is take a picture of your breasts and that's about it. And they can read it and they go through the deep tissues and so forth and so on. And they can see if there is cancer there by your body heat. Okay, I also did an ultrasound, which also is very accurate in terms of whether or not you have anything or suspect in having anything. Cancer cells are shaped very long. They're, they're not shaped rounded. If they look like a, a rice grain or something like that, then you have cause to worry but not cause to panic. All right, so on to step two. Now, 
On to step two. We have Epsom salt, we have baking soda, and we have a bottled water. I'm not promoting Vasani, by the way. Canjun water is good, alkaline water is good, but this is just to say that you need a bottle of water when you're doing this step. Step two is your detox bath. Now, you need one pound of Epsom salt and one pound of baking soda. Now, I put a measuring cup here for those of you who don't know what a pound looks like. This is a two, this is two cups, which is a, almost, it's the, it should measure a pound. So, if you buy these in big bulks on Amazon or wherever you buy it, um, make sure that the baking soda doesn't have an aluminum on it or anything like that. Um, so that it is, you know, optimal detoxification can happen. So you can use this to measure one pound of each. You're going to soak yourself in some water in your bath, okay? You can get a little bit oozy when you're doing that because, you know, your body is detoxing and your skin is the largest eliminator of waste, so you're pulling a lot from your body. So you want to hydrate while you're doing this, okay? I usually take a cup of lemon, lemon water with me to help to alkaline the body and help to just kind of wash everything out into that bathtub, okay? And that is for 20 minutes per, uh, per, uh, per use, okay? 20 minutes only. Now, you are not going to bathe in that water because that water is toxic. You are going to then go on to step three, which is what I will show you. Now, I do step one, sorry, step two. This is step two, twice per day. I would get up at five in the morning and I would do this bath. And then, um, if that, that is after I do my tea. And then I would do uh, step three, which is coming up shortly. This, trust me, you can also lose weight when you're doing this step as well. All right, so on to step three. Step three is what I really love the most because we here we use the Tropical line of um, shower gels and we call it bush bath and shower gel. We kept the natural and the traditional name to it. Um, and I do this first thing in the morning after I do the detoxification bath. In the morning, I love using our ginger and our island spice. Um, the key to um, our gels is because it's all natural in nature. So after you use the, after you use the detoxification process with the baking soda and so forth and so on, you really and truly do not want to put any more toxic soap on your skin because obviously the skin is also the largest absorbent of toxins as well. So I use these two in the morning that I absolutely adore. And then I pair it up with our couscous body butter just to help to seal in the moisture that I just washed off of my skin. And it's absolutely great. Now for deodorant, what I do use, I use the baking soda, which I I, have, I just really love. I dabbled a little bit, but a lot of people are like, baking soda, my God, you know, I'm still going to sweat. I don't mind sweating because you know what? Sweating, you're, you're alleviating toxins from your body. But not only that, it's also with the baking soda under your arm, it's also helping your lymphatic system, cleansing it as you go on throughout the course of the day. But for those of you who don't really like this, I also recommend um, Arm & Hammer. Uh, they have this nice deodorant that I like. You can also use Tom that is free from aluminum and parabens okay so if you don't like the baking soda I happen to just absolutely love it because it's fresh and lovely um, you can use this product as well so and then in the evening now because I do this bath twice you can use our Circe as well as our lemongrass which is also calming to the skin and Circe in Jamaica we use Circe to cleanse our skin we use it as a tea also internally to cleanse our body as well which is absolutely beautiful skin so you can use these two in the evening and these two you know interchange them in the morning but absolutely make sure that you use your tropical living couscous morning butter alrighty then and then on to step four now this is the last and final phase of um, good breast health, your good breast health section. Um, this section I really love because it's very personal. Um, not only that, all the sections are personal, but you can feel the healing powers when you do this, when you um, do your breast health, your baking soda breast pack, okay? Now what you need for that, you need a, um, a hot water bottle that can you can buy it at any CVS or anything like that store. A lot of people ask me if you can use a heating pad, no. 
heating pad is electricity. That is not, that's bad energy. You don't want to do that. Use your lovely hot water bottle and keep on going, okay? Um, you can also buy one that helps with, um, you know, that has an enema, an enema component to it, okay? Or you can buy a hot water bottle system. Um, you need your baking soda and you need your Jamaican black castor oil, the Tropical brand, of course, because we do not over roast our seeds, so there's a lot of nutrients that's in this product that you absolutely need. We only sell one type of Jamaican black castor oil, which is the only kind that anybody should buy, which is balanced in nutrition and the gently roast our seeds that has that lovely honey uh, brown color and uh, slightly nutty, but not too overbearing. If you burn it, that's what you get. You do get um, not all you get, uh, what do you call it now? It's, it's like you wouldn't burn chicken, would you? Because the, therefore the nutrients is going out of it. So ours is high in nutrients. Then you need a flannel cloth or just a white cloth. This is a flower sack that I, I buy from um, at Walmart. Uh, but just make sure that it's white and it's uh, cotton uh, or flannel, okay, which is good. So what you are going to do when you do this, and I will show you the amount of baking soda that you, you're going to need. First of all, you open this up, all right, like this, okay? Um, sometimes what I did, what I do, I would fold it in, in half and double it like this, okay? Now, you're going to really saturate this with um, baking soda. Put it down in the middle, just like this, and use a lot, okay? Then you're gonna take some warm water, okay? And I am going to just, you see how much I'm using? This amount would serve me for about two to three usage, okay? So you're not going to throw away um, the baking soda with the flannel cloth. You're gonna keep it, put it in a lovely uh, plastic bag, make sure it's still moist, okay? And then um, like a Ziploc bag, and then you can use it for the next day. And you're gonna pour some water in there. I am gonna stop rolling right now, and I'm gonna show you how to pour the water and make the paste, all right? get it into a nice little doughy kind of soft little mush what you're going to do just make sure that you prepare your um, hot water bottle if you don't like it too hot make it almost warm to hot but not not lukewarm you're going to put this breast pack on both your your breasts make sure that it covers um, both underneath the breast on top of the breast and over the breast so you can spread out the baking soda and then you're going to take, and if you need help, because sometimes I was a balancing act for me, but I had it down pack after three months, you would, you know, you would um, have just line up everything beside you and then start putting on the layers, like you did this first, and then you do uh, the two hot water bottles that I needed to use, two hot water bottles. And you can do it for 10 minutes. And I would do this three times per day first, um, for the first month or so, and then I cut it down to twice. And then now I'm down to one, um, one, one day, one, sorry, once per day. But when I began, it was three times per day. When I started it out, I had one breath, I had one cyst in one breast and two in the other. And by the third month, um, one of the cysts grew so much by the pulling of the baking soda and disintegrated in my breast. So by the time I went to do my breast thermography as well as my, um, well as my ultrasound they saw that the the cysts dissipated and they said the body would take care of it but I still do my breasts um, my breasts uh, packs because it's just a preventative measure so whether or you are 14 15 16 you can't have cysts and so forth and so on I would use this as a preventative measure um, for breast health and after I would use the um, the Jamaican black castor oil, after you wash, you have to wash your breasts off and everything, make sure you wash it off really good. I would use um, Tropical Island and Jamaican black castor oil, especially at night, and I'd rub it on my breast. And when I tell you, for me personally, this works, this is what happened. I'm still working on the two cysts that is in my, um, that's in my right.
my dress. They're very small, but by God's grace, they will come out because of what I'm doing and what I'm eating and what I'm putting on my body by living right, thinking right, and just doing what's right for Loy. And I would suggest that you out there, listeners, do what's right for you. You know right from wrong. You know when your body is speaking to you. So always remember, Tropic Eye Living, the natural and the traditional way to a healthy, beautiful you. We have tips for your body, tips for your mind, tips for your soul, and just, you know, tips for just general well-being, how to live, how to eat, as well as lovely products that can help you shine and be your best, your bold and beautiful self. If you have any questions for um, Lois or Loy, as I'm known as in Jamaica, please do not hesitate to send them to me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks once again for inviting me into wherever you are.